at the bottom of the river. The devil has come to carry me home. Lay me at the bottom, the bottom of the river. Welcome back to the second episode of Fly vs. Jerk 9. This season we have the toughest starting line of all times with five extremely skilled teams. The first four hours of fishing have been very productive for all the teams and many pike have been caught. The most amount of fish is caught by the Swedish champions Team Karlskrona Fiske with Victor Vestergaard and Vili Björk. The biggest fish has been caught by Truman from CWC fishing team with a weight of 8.5 kilos. It's a great fish during a competition and could without a doubt be the biggest one of this day. Very exciting first hours and it's time to see what the teams are up to. Team Leach with Alexander Lexen and Marcus Malasevsky are fishing a place called Riegen down in Germany. They're going all in for a big one. What's your thoughts about the first report? We know for sure that fish in Sweden and Blekinge and goes for I think they're numbers. going to compete for the numbers. Yeah. Uh, I think CVC, they feel that they lost the number points. It depends on where they are, but uh, they have 8.5 8 kilo and that's, that's a good fish. Yeah. Uh, it will be hard to, but we, you missed one. Yeah. Big. I, I think uh, if, we, if we hammer this area a bit more and we will see what, what happens. And now then we uh, just go for the big one. Yeah, yeah but we yeah. hammer here for, uh, and uh, actually the big ones, I, I think I still are going to uh, do this because yeah. you go with when, the small uh, when, and I go always with the big one. when we had contacts we had a bigger follower or yeah. so we, st All right. we start hammering. Boom. Team Vision Sweden with Nicholas Bauer and Thomas Serbik are up in the North Swedish archipelago going for the number point. It's a tight race and they need to perform at their best for the rest of the day in order to get a point. So we're in a Really a uh, numbers game with, oh, oh, oh shit, that was a nice one. With uh, Karlskrona Fiske. Oh, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Oh, there we go. So every fish is really, really important. That beautiful colored fish is number 38. Maybe it's a tie, we don't know. But we're gonna hammer like crazy now. Bye bye. Mm. Seems like they want a little bit more speed, Thomas. Yeah, eight and a half kilos is, is never impossible. I mean, it could happen. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're just focusing on numbers now because we were almost there and we have almost, well, five and a half more hours to fish. So we could go a pretty high number. So now it's full focus and getting every little pike to the boat. A little bit stressed too. Team Vision Finland with Marcus Tandefeld and Passi Tapanen are fishing the Finnish archipelago. This far, their fishing has been average. They've caught fish but no big ones and not extremely many, but it's still six more hours to go. I think what comes to the numbers, uh, we are pretty much what we expected, like we're gonna get 30, 40 fish today, and we are now in 15 fish, so... Actually 16 now. Oh yeah, yeah. that's correct, now we have 16. And uh, I need we I think we're gonna stick in the plan, which is basically that that we're gonna we just need to find the big fish. We have a couple of big fish spots where we're yep. gonna fish, and uh, I'm actually pretty sure that uh, the biggest fish the CVC ha has it's from Finland. Yeah, and uh, I think it's from a river. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. It's gonna be interesting. Yeah. You're both right and wrong, Marcus. CWC fishing team are in Finland, the same as you, but they aren't fishing a river, and they're going for the number point. We really need to find a place with a lot of fish now, because they have 37 pike. It's a good morning for them, so two teams have more than 35 fish. So it's possible, but it's going to be, it's going to be hard. It's better. Johnny Wobbler! Yeah! Good take! Yeah, it was nice. Yeah, BAM! <laughs> Do you want talent down good, here? Good, 
What? Don't put the tile on here or we keep drifting? No, 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 we're drifting here. Bye bye. <sighs> Oof. Good start. That was uh, four and a half. Yeah. Good start and a fat fish caught on Johnny Wobbler. Although you're not the only team catching fish, Team Kals Kronofiske with Ville Björk and Victor Vestergaard catches them as well, but not as fast as before. Yeah. Two. So it's starting very slow, but I think the water is getting a little bit murky right here. So if we just keep on casting, we've got many hours left as well, so all we can do is hope that the clouds will come in again, but it looks doubtful when you look at the sky. The thing is, we're one step ahead of the other guys. We're prepared this morning by taking an anti-shit pill, so we won't waste any time going to an island or shitting in the boat. <laughs> Is that the secret behind how you won the Swedish championship? Quite funny. In fact, you need all the extra time you can because Team Vision Sweden have started to catch one fish after another. Oh, good, 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 good. Yep. Is it too much? Not too high, not too high, not too high. You got it? Got yeah, it. I got it, thanks. Ah, oh, the hook is in my finger. Hang on. Ah. Oh. Ooh, 10 past 12 and 40 fish and 41. No, no almost. Oh, get it, get it, oh, get it. Now it's 41. I'm ready for a leader touch if you need it. Okay. Pull it out of the reeds here. Uh, leader touch? Uh, there we go, yeah. Goody, goody. Thanks. That was not too bad. Well, you said, Thomas, the goal is to try to reach 100. Well, I don't think we ever did that, so nope. why not do it today? Yep. It's got to be hard work to go for 100. But... Yeah, but we're on 40, 39. But I, I think I'll be satisfied, you know, anything around 80. And of course, we should go for more, but... Yeah. Let the rubber guys play with those big ones today. Oh, look at the fish following. Ooh. So really nice wake. That's strong fish. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the other side of the boat. Is that the biggest of the day? Of the day? Mm. Yeah, wait. I don't know. No, it doesn't really matter. No. I think it's now time to change the area. Yeah, yeah. Let's go to the Kind of the other bay, which is just like opposite of this. The wind is really pushing that pushing, way, yeah. pushing water yeah. there, and I'm pretty sure there must be more active fish. And I also hope that the big ones are active there. Yeah, we haven't found any fish from uh, like coves, so they're staying at the windy side and feeding, feeding yeah. on the close to the reeds. So, so we gotta we get just have to hammer those places really yeah. hard. And we have a couple of secret spots there. I yeah, mean, yeah. We, we have got like, uh, the biggest one is 12 kilo from that yeah. area. So yeah. let's go and let's try do that it. one. One hour has passed since the first phone call and it's time to write down the result in the hourly report. Stefan, how many fish you have? Oh, I don't remember. It was a long time ago. I had a bite. <laughs> I can see from here. Yeah, but two, I think two, it's two. Two, two. Oh my god. Four fish. It's really bad. So we need to. I don't know what we have to do. We just. We can't find them. We can't find anything nice. What do you think? What to do? I think we go up and take it. Uh, test the uh, next hole. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Two cost more. Huh? Two cost. Two cast, okay. I make one too. Oh. I don't know if 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 they are not there or they, they, maybe they're just not really aggressive biting or I don't know. I can't believe it's only one, two fish each bay, you know. You have to be more than this. 
<laughs> That's a bigger fish. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Ooh, no, no, it's a big fish. I think maybe. Not that big, not that big. Not a point, so. It's, I mean, it's four or five kilos, so. You know. Yeah, but why not? No, I don't think. No, 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 not at all. It's not? Oh, it was. I thought it was bigger. Sorry about that, Thomas. There you go. Well done, Thomas. Dude, man, let's go on now. Oh, no, nice. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Fuck. Shit, dude. It's like the on yeah. just number 10 time on the same. <laughs> ah, okay. He deserved not to be long landed. Seems like the wind is slowing down a little bit better. <sighs> Who's a. Uh, this poor dude has a really tough day today. This is actually one of the flies that was so good on Fly vs. York the first day last year. I saved it, put a new wiggle tail on it and it's good to go. This is just what we needed, you know, some consistent action. So uh, we can keep the speed. Oh. Fishing now outside of this uh, inner cove. It's really quite deep this area, and uh, fishing has improved. So we changed a little bit our strategy, and we have now seven fins, seven fish, but still waiting for the big one. And it can happen any second. I promise. So there's a tip for you who want to start fly fishing for for pike. So usually when we're using sinking lines, lines or intermediate lines, try to hold your rod tip as close to the water as possible. Because if you hold your rod tip like 20, 30 centimeters above the water, you're building slack line. And that slack line is always in your counter-strike. So I still, after over 15 years of doing fly fishing for pike, I forget it once in a while and I have to concentrate it because it's not a natural angle angle if you're fishing very high but uh, that's a good tip try to remember it so now I'm just building slack there's like 15 centimeters 20 centimeters slack the whole time if I do a counter strike that slack line I have to take it away so if you hold your rod tip really close you can get a counter strike Directly. Yeah. Yeah. How deep is it? 1.6. Okay. Maybe we go down a little bit. Yeah. yeah. You get the the nice fish. Yeah. Yeah. They are here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Dokey. Yeah. Good. Good. Ah, that's a good spot. It's, it's more contact here, you see? Yeah. <laughs> he don't want to come. He swim around. Come on. There are fish there. Yeah, it's some fish. That's a nice Look, bike. It's a fat one. It's over 90. Yeah, you need to measure it. It should be nice to see. Look at the back, it's beautiful. So the fish, uh, I think, was about six kilo. And uh, first cast, I change. Uh, where I, have, I have one color, doesn't work. I change. I put the spotted bullet, my favorite color, and boom, first cast.
Very nice. Nice eggs. Eggs are good protein to catch big pikes. Måste mindre. Mindre. Ja. Jag lägger nog mycket så jävla. Det såg ut som att det var en bra huvudsak. Kanske är den, den är tung. Ser du den? Nej. Ja, den, den här ser... är tyngre. Den här är bra tror jag, Alex. För den nu kände jag hur skakningen på huvudet. Ja, tar det lugnt. Tar det lugnt. Eller? Ja, Uff. den är bra. Den är bra. Tar det lugnt, tar det lugnt, tar det lugnt, tar det lugnt. Tar det lugnt. Vart vill du ha den någonstans? Ja, tar det. tar det lugnt. Kom igen. Okej. Upp. Okay. upp, 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 upp. Yes. Yes. Det är över 8. At least. Oh, nice. Let's see. Oh, yo, yo. Wow, a big pike caught by Team Leech and it looks massive. Time to weigh it. We might have a new top fish. Oh, oh it's a good one. It's a good one. Okay. Okay. Here we go. 10.5. Good one. It's a new top fish for the competition and it weighs an incredible 10.5 kilos and was caught on a gator gum. That's a very good fish during a competition and the second biggest pike ever caught in fly versus jerk. Congratulations, Team Leech. Well played. Thanks, brother. Thank you. This and is what job. we came for. Yeah, 10.5, 110 centimeters. Uh, we saw it in the morning, and uh, knew, this is probably one of them. That's standing here. This is Team Leech in Fly vs. Jerk 9. Now the competition starts. I was so nervous, Alex, in the morning. And now everything just passed away. So 18 this hour. That's 13, 55, 66, Thomas. That's pretty good. 66, yeah. I mean, if we can just keep finding fish, then we are on to 100. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But we're catching fish and we're having a great time, and that's what it's all about. Thomas, leader. Got it. Thank you. 20 seconds ago, I just filled in number 66, so this is number 67 now. <laughs> I love I love fishing for for big pike, but <laughs> in fly versus jerk, you know, where you're on the numbers and it's they're just racking up. It's so fun, so much fun. But when it's on numbers like this, you know, yeah, when yeah, you're yeah. catching, where you're in contact with the fish, you know, every fifth cast or something like that, then you, it's you just get in this bubble. You're casting, uh, casting, casting, uh, oh, another one. <laughs> look at this guy. Oh, look at this. This is actually. Look, this is uh, from a net. Oh, shit. You can actually see, this is, you see the threads from a net? And you can see if I pull here, it goes here, so it's probably... Sorry, guy, I'm trying to help you as much as I can here. I think I got most of it away. Well, it looks like he's going to survive that. Sorry, guy. Hope for a better life. Ah. Here you can see the, the material here. Alex, you're an experienced angler in Regan. What's your best tip to other anglers that want to fish there in order to catch a big pike? Our tactics uh, this time, uh, we have been uh, to Regan many times and uh, uh, our tactics was to find the fish and we found the fish and, uh, and just hammer, ham, hammer on the uh, that place because we know when we find a decent amount of fish there are always big pikes uh, around there and that's 
that's not the only one that's swimming here right now. Go here, find the fish and hammer on those spots. And first day, it's uh, it, maybe it, it's not enough. Go yeah. big <laughs> or go home. <laughs> maybe it's not enough, but, but I'm happy. Yeah, me also. <laughs> så vad händer liksom? Är den tung? Ja, den är tung. Den vill sticka lite höger. I think we should take the net. I don't know. It's a better one. It's a better one. No, it's not. Yeah, but we take the net. I don't want to lose yeah, it. Yeah, I can take. Take it here. Yeah. Leader. Jag skulle vilja fota med den. Vi har inte tid med fotboll, okay. vi måste fiska för fan. Okej. Okay. It's not like seven kilo fish. Yeah. Yeah, six, seven kilo fish. That's nice. Not bad at all. There's sure are many big fish in Regan and you've really figured out how to catch them today. Quite some distance from Team Leech at Team Vision Finland, who also found some active fish. Yep. Just chukula? Yeah. Oh, you got one? Yeah. <laughs> ah, good one. Touch it. Yes. Two clicks. Two clicks. So we saw one better fish there, and then we got two small ones here. Yeah. Okay, the fishing has improved a little bit. Last hour we have got eight fish, but we are still missing the big one. Yeah. Like we still have the same. Like all the fish has been really, really small. And what comes to numbers point? We lost that one. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure we lost so that one. We so we still. Then we have only kind of uh, we need to concentrate on the big fish. Yeah. And uh, this is the area where we can, where we can find it. Yes. So let's continue hammering. We got uh, ten pikes this hour, and now we have got we got fifty nine pikes. Let's go. We're trying to catch up. Take a pike. This cost. Yes, I will. Do it. Look, I believe in you. At that massive cast. Good. Nice. Yes. We now got uh, maybe eight pikes in like 20 minutes. Really good. Uh, Start of this hour. I'm really. <laughs> oh, I'm stuck. Team Vision Sweden have a substantial lead, but Team Carl's Corona Fiska are actually getting closer. Meanwhile, the fishing has slowed down for Nicholas and Thomas. Started to rain again, like this morning, and the fishing has slowed down quite a bit. I think this hour so far we only have three, four fish, something maybe in total. We're getting close to 80 but with the speed we're catching them now or rather not catching them 100 is going to be near impossible so we just have to hope it slowed out everywhere else but we'll stick at it another couple of hours we'll see what we can do yeah we just uh, just catch a quite nice fish now so i do a proper measure of that fish so i put measuring bulb just to know how long it is it's quite quite nice fish Quite proud of that uh, catch. Oof. Oof. Oh. Oh. 
It's coming. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful pike. I think this is the smallest for today. Oof. 40, 41 centimeters. Beautiful pike. Whoop. Okay, put her back. Oh, I lost it. <laughs> it's so cute at this, this size, huh? Look, they're nice. Very cute indeed. You should be proud of that one. Bye bye. But it's a fish. The net is a little bit too big for, for her. <laughs> we uh, went back to same spot like uh, we start with, and uh, we caught the biggest fish there. And so far, we we it was a good decision for, because we have caught nine fish quite easily. So hopefully. We, we're gonna raise the numbers quite fast now. Come on, Pikey. Oh, oof, I missed it. I saw it. Now we take it. Quite shallow there, I think. Oh. Green top. Ah, you took my fish. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, just take the the pike Stefan lost for two three times. <laughs> so I just take it. Sorry Stefan. No problem. I like it. <laughs> we need them. <laughs> we need them badly. Maybe they are more inside there. Could be. Because I cast nothing, nothing. I, I one cast there. I yeah. made the fish. Ooh. Fish? Yeah. I missed it. No, I have it. Huh? It swims so fast. It's a good one. Oh, it's a little bit bigger, this one. <laughs> Look. Swallow it. Now I love this again. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I put a 15 gram flex head. Yeah. And speed it up a little bit. Gala boom! <laughs> cool. Ah. Yeah. Ooh. Fish. Good. Nice fish. Huh? Ah. They are quite strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, put it back. Oops. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, they are. They it's have better? some energy, huh? It's better? No, no. Nice color, nice marking. Cool. Catch another one now. Did you click? Yep. Good. So far, is the best hour now. Yeah, I think so. Come on, fish. Paddle again, huh? No, no it's still there. No, 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 Nice, Alex. I can click. I can click. I can yep. click. So uh, we had a few hours where the fishing was really slow. The, the rain is uh, actually pouring down and it's, it's starting to become oh, dark. <laughs> ah. But we just found more fish. So That was actually really hot. So now the fishing is this is probably our best hour so far in a while or probably at least the second best and this, yeah. this could end up being the best. We're over 90 fish, 94, 95 I think. And it's just really cool fishing at the moment. 
we're getting very close to 100 fish, Thomas. I think we're going to make it. <laughs> and I think we're going to make it within this hour. Yeah. Uh, now it's all about catching as many as possible. It's been like that all day, my friend. Yeah. And now we're getting there. Oh, you got it? Yeah. <laughs> I saw you fly, or actually I saw you fly disappear. Yeah, and, I, and I lost the line. <laughs> That's yeah, why it yeah. took so long to set the hook, so I probably didn't deserve that one. I think you deserve every single one, Thomas. Yeah, okay, that's the spirit. Yeah. I had a rough childhood. <laughs> <laughs> it's compensation time. So we're 97 fish. Come on, three more. Thomas just caught the 99th pike today. So we're chasing number 100 here. And then uh, uh, we, were we were thinking about the fishing with the oh, oh, it's oh, it's oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Get it, man! Get it! We got it. Yeah! I'm wrong. <laughs> Every everybody <laughs> needs a Danish friend. <laughs> Maybe too much red bull. <laughs> yeah, slightly too much. 100 fish today. 100 pike, that's extremely good and there's actually a chance that Team Vision Sweden could beat the current record in fly versus jerk regarding the amount of fish caught during one day. Right now Truman and Pierre from CWC Fishing Team have the record with 135 pike from last season. We'll see. I'm thinking about the pike and how they should be standing here and they will strike any minute. Hopefully they will. <laughs> we don't know. Maybe. Where are the pikes? There. Good. Pike on. Don't miss it. The last hour has been very bad for us. We made a move from our other places and it hasn't paid off. So we're feeling a bit sad. Disappointed. Yeah, disappointed about this location. We thought would give us the pikes we needed, but right now they don't seem to be here at all. Basi, I actually just got a SMS, well actually two SMS from two different friends. Okay. That, uh, Team CVC, they're fishing in the northern part of Finland and they're fishing in the river. That's the river we were kind of uh, thought that they might fish. Yeah. One other thing, CVC, they have been seen training on the same spot where we're planning to go on the last day. Oh. It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we gotta just keep on fishing and yeah. out fish. We don't care team. about that. No. We no. just we're gonna do our own thing and that's gonna be enough. Yeah, that's true. It's gonna be more than enough. Marcus, it seems like you have bad sources that spread misinformation. CWC fishing team aren't fishing a river, they're fishing the archipelago, and at the moment they have really good fishing. They are strong. Yeah. Yeah, super, yeah? Yeah. It's nearly three meters here. I put the 15 gram again. Speed it up a little bit. Yeah. We it have to flex it. But you get on this color the, the fish you have before? No, 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 no. It was spotted bullet. Okay. Now it's the... I call it golden puff. Okay. <laughs> Fish? Yeah. I think we have uh, one hour left now. So, it was good. The hour before we get 11 pike in one hour. So, it was not bad actually. So, we tried to get a nice drift on the, on the shore here in two meters because this is the depth we meet most of the fish, two meters water. But I think it's it's quite lots of fish here in this area. Yeah. It, I think the, the heavy raining disturbed them. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I think so. They, they don't bite like no, they should. No, because we lost a lot of take as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't take well. Uh, but it's fun. It's always fun to fish. <laughs> it's Even <fun>. in <laughs> hell rain. <laughs> yeah. But with no rain and more fish, it's more fun. Yeah. No? <laughs> Five o'clock, report time, and a historic moment in Fly versus Jerk. Finally, the honest stray guys are hitting back. What have you got? 
14? I think so, yeah, I'll double check, but I think it's 14. How many do you have? 14, because I had a slow start in here. So yeah, 14. 14, 14. So 28 fish in that hour. 28. And so we had 80 before, or? 80, yeah, so 108. <laughs> That's awesome. That's really, really crazy. Oh, and we still got one more hour, so uh, I don't think it's going to stay light all the time, but probably half an hour more of productive fishing, maybe. Oh. Got it. Good. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Ooh. That was a nice take. Shit. Good one. On the jerk. No, I it's love not big. you. It's nice. But it's okay. Huh? It's not big, but I took it on the jerk. So if you lose your paddle, you can uh, jerk it. Works really good. So don't throw it away. Use them as jerks. It's not much time left for the first day of fishing. They will soon call each other and this time they will reveal their final score for the first day. The team with the largest amount of fish will receive one point and the team with the biggest fish will receive one point. Victor, do you think your team have enough for the number point? Not really, I think we need like maybe 10, 15 more, I think. I think we need that, but we will see. It's getting darker. We got the scars to prove it. We caught a lot of fish today. We were hoping for 100 fish and we executed that at least. What do you think, Marcus? I am very, very, very nervous. We were lucky today to catch bigger. But we ones. had, we had nice one. three Good big ones. followers yeah. as well. Uh, so I hope it's, it was it's a, enough. I hope it's enough. If it isn't, it isn't. New tactics tomorrow. Yeah, the day, the day is nearly over now, and uh, ah, was was a strange day. I'm a little bit, little bit disappointed about the day because we expect uh, we expect way more fish than this. For sure, we're not going to get the number. I don't think so. And uh, but Stefan have a really nice one, so that can be. Uh, I don't know if it can be enough, but we never know. 8.5 this morning was enough. We can we can maybe get one point. So uh, maybe we can get lucky. What do you think, Stefan? We have lots of rain. I think we managed pretty good anyway. Over 50 fish. That's a decent amount of fish in these conditions. Biggest fish so far, 8.5. It's a good competition fish, no doubt about that. But it's really good fishermen in this competition, Flavius Jörg. So if it's good enough for this day, I don't know. I think it's 50-50. The first day has ended. And now it's time to make the call. So it's team uh, CVC. We have uh, 57 fish and the top fish is uh, 8.5 kilo. This is Team Vision Finland, Posse Talking, we have 35 fish and biggest is 2.5. Hi, it's Victor here from Team Kalskrona Fiske. We got 83 pikes, biggest one 4.7 kilo. Hello, this is uh, Thomas from Team Vision Sweden. We have 122 pike and the biggest is about three and a half kilos. Hello, uh, this is Alex from Team Leech. We have 24 pikes and the biggest on 10.5 kilo. <laughs> Congratulations, Team Leech. Good job. Well done. Good job. Bow well, out. See you tomorrow. Have a good day. Yes. One point. Okay, <laughs> so see we see us. Alright, number <laughs> points! <laughs> Leech has one over 10 kilos. 10.5 kilos. Ah, that's a good job. Fantastic. 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 That's cool. 
And we're pretty high up in numbers too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even with Kalkuna did 83, that's a really good result. It is, it is. Oof. Leech have got one on 10.5 kilo, really good fish. And Leech and Sweden got 122 pike. That's insane, that's insane. That's, that's, really, insane. that's really good. That was a really nice fish. Yeah, 10.4, yeah. Su super, super fish. Yeah, yeah, big, yeah big congratulation for them. Yeah. 10.4. Yeah. Super fish. Big super. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really good. I was sure that CVC they had the biggest yeah, fish. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's good that 10.5, that's that's really nice yeah, fish. Yeah, yeah. That's actually a... That's a game changer. I think yeah. people are talking their strategy yeah. all over again. Yeah. 122 on the fly is a lot of fish. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> fish! <laughs> fish! <laughs> fish. <laughs> crazy. We need to improve, my friend. Yeah. And we're gonna do it tomorrow. Yeah, we're gonna do it tomorrow. Yes. Let's go forward. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. So, first day is completed and we did our plan and we do the same thing tomorrow. <laughs> and we are going to have a big pike tomorrow. Grand brûlé <laughs> for everyone. <laughs> yeah, but we, we take a new uh, new game tomorrow. Yeah, for sure, yeah. We have to do something. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's wrap it up. Yep. Oh. Perfect. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go have a dinner now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, we work for that number. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Over and out. See you tomorrow morning. Very good first day and both Team Vision Sweden and Team Leach really deserved the points. Looking at the scoreboard, we can see that Nicholas and Thomas crushed the other teams with 122 pike caught during one day of fishing. It's not a new record in fly versus jerk, but a great achievement on fly. Impressive. Team Leach went go big or go home during the whole day and it paid off. Marcus managed to catch a beautiful German pike with a weight of 10.5 kilos. That's the second biggest pike ever caught in Fly vs Jerk. A big congrats to you. This means that Team Vision Sweden have one point and Team Leech have one point when we end the first day. Thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. My name is Jay Brooks and you've been watching Fly vs Jerk 9. Don't miss the biggest sport fishing event of the year, the Swedish Sport Fishing Fair 2018 in Stockholm on March 16 to 18. Get your tickets in the link in the description or in the upright corner link. See you there.